Well, this is the argument I had with Avi Loeb um, when, when he came on my show. He, he talked about this object, Oumuamua, which yeah. is this interstellar object that he claims is either a junk debris or maybe it's a tourist scout or a spy drone. It's much, much more reflective. It's a view of the solar system as it's never been seen before. Scientists releasing photos taken from the James Webb Space Telescope the world's newest and largest instrument capturing the great beyond. It says Oumuamua did not give off any signals suggesting it was a spacecraft. If you say that the top 10 list of explanations does not include alien probe, what is on that list? It's a comet. Or an asteroid. Or an asteroid, a rock. So then where is alien civilization on the list of explanations? What would happen if we suddenly woke to find our Earth crawling with uninvited guests from interstellar space? Well, this is almost happening. Recently, our curiosity reached new heights as the James Webb Space Telescope again took pictures of Oumuamua. Taking our world by surprise in 2017 when it first showed up, the Oumuamua gave scientists chills, sparking wild theories like the possibility of it being an alien spacecraft. Now it's back, and there's something even more bizarre about its recent appearance. Join us as we race against time to uncover its true nature before it approaches our planet again. In 2017, astronomers made an unprecedented rare discovery of the Oumuamua. This wasn't merely a celestial blip or a routine space rock. It was certainly no ordinary space visitor. This was our first interstellar object from another star system, an ambassador from the cosmos beyond our own. This discovery stunned the scientific community because the Oumuamua was the first object observed passing through our solar system. Studying this celestial body from an extraterrestrial perspective proved a Herculean task. Until the discovery of Oumuamua, astronomers focused primarily on observing and studying objects within our solar system. But the Oumuamua was different in that, instead of the familiar elliptical orbits we see of asteroids and comets, the Oumuamua in a gravity-defying, audacious nature, chose a hyperbolic path unequivocally hinting at its origin. The deeper our telescopes peered, the more Oumuamua eluded comprehension. This was more than just an astronomical anomaly. It was a confounding puzzle, making even the most astute experts in the field scratch their heads in bewilderment. Are you ready to unravel the impossible? Stay tuned as we push the boundaries of science and technology to bring you something truly extraordinary. Well, scientists have determined Oumuamua is a comet and not an asteroid, as previously thought. Described by physicists who saw it as a glowing reddish tint, a redefinition hallmark of objects bathed and bombarded by cosmic rays for eons, this mystery object was lacking an essential component, a halo or tail usually seen billowing from comets that lose their way around our solar system as they bathe in the aura of the sun's warmth. But Oumuamua's held more surprises. Its accelerative complexities, coupled with its gliding pattern, especially as it journeyed away from the sun, left the best of the best in the Earth's scientific community perplexed. You could feel the growing tension and the rising urgency to understand the moving mass of rock and non-living matter. Newton's laws, the bedrock of our understanding of motion, fell short of explaining the phenomenon that aided the Oumuamua in picking up speed even in terrains where it should be decelerating. In trying to decipher this strange phenomenon, various hypotheses emerged. Some opined that it could be the result of outgassing, a phenomenon observed in comets. This hypothesis was rejected because no visible traces of such processes adorned Oumuamua. In the absence of concrete evidence to validate the origin and nature of Oumuamua, audacious postulations began to surface. Could it be possible that Oumuamua was not a naturally occurring element in space? Could it be a ballistic product developed by some alien civilization and targeted at the Earth? Or was it an alien satellite orbiting our solar system to scrutinize our corner of the Milky Way for future alien colonization? Professor Avi Loeb, a luminary from Harvard, stepped into the fray of confusion, postulating that Oumuamua might be a light, flat probe sailing through the cosmic sea propelled by radiation. While many eyebrows were raised in skepticism, Loeb's proposition added an electric charge to the discourse. His radical theory is astonishing and takes us into science fiction. In uh, October 19th, 2017, uh, given the name Oumuamua, which means a scout in the Hawaiian language, uh, roughly the size of a football field, simply because it came close to Earth. 
Loeb suggests that Oumuamua isn't a natural object like a comet or asteroid. He imagines it could be a piece of advanced technology from another civilization. Imagine a slim, shiny sheet catching sunlight to glide through space, similar to how a sailboat catches the wind to move through the water. So the light from the sun goes to Oumuamua, which is what wind goes to a sailboat. This kind of explains the speed with which it is gliding through space. Loeb further postulates that this light sail could be an artificial object sent from far away, maybe even from another solar system. Loeb points out that Oumuamua's unusual shape, shiny surface, and strange way it moves don't match our typical understanding of natural space bodies. What makes Loeb's suggestion so captivating is the implication behind it. If Oumuamua were a probe from an alien civilization, it would be a monumental discovery, indicating that other intelligent life forms might exist. It's a thought that excites and stirs the imagination, suggesting that we might not be alone in this vast universe. However, while this idea is thrilling, it's also important to be cautious when accepting it. Loeb's alien theory is just one of many, and most experts remain skeptical. They tend to lean towards more conventional explanations that stick to natural cosmic phenomena, especially since the alien hypothesis is a big leap with our insufficient evidence. Plus, with Oumuamua far beyond our reach, and so much still unknown about it, and the myriad other mysteries lurking in the vastness of space, most scientists argue that we should focus on more grounded theories. This, however, does not quell the debates and postulations about this strange space visitor. Keep watching to see all of the postulations about Oumuamua. Do you think Oumuamua has eluded scientific comprehension? Is our world oblivious to this threat that faces us? The Oumuamua debate shows how much mystery and potential for discovery lies beyond our planet, inviting us to keep an open mind and continue exploring the cosmos. Since Oumuamua entered our sights, scientists have been puzzled, trying to fit this strange visitor into our understanding of space without resorting to far-out ideas like aliens. They've continued brainstorming and have developed several theories that rely on natural phenomena to explain Oumuamua's odd characteristics and behavior. One of the simpler ideas is that Oumuamua could be a fragment once part of a larger celestial body, like a planet or an asteroid, that somehow got broken off long ago and is now finding a place to be grafted back to. This scenario is similar to finding a piece of a jigsaw puzzle lying on the floor. You know it belongs to a bigger picture, but you're left guessing about the complete image without the rest of the pieces. Following that postulation, we can say that when we look at Oumuamua, we see just a fragment of a whole without knowing what the original object looked like or how the piece came to be separated from it. It's like discovering a mysterious relic from a long-lost civilization. We can speculate about its origins and purpose, but without the full context, our understanding is incomplete. Another fascinating hypothesis scientists have proposed is that Oumuamua might be a floating hydrogen iceberg. This is quite a novel idea, as it suggests that Oumuamua is essentially a massive chunk of frozen hydrogen gas. This concept is unusual because hydrogen doesn't exist in a solid form in the environments we're familiar with on Earth. The idea here is that if Oumuamua originated in a much colder, distant part of the galaxy, it could be made of this exotic form of ice. As it traveled close to our sun, the theory suggests that the warmth from the sun caused the frozen hydrogen to turn directly into gas, a process called sublimation. This reaction could gently push Oumuamua's speed without producing the dramatic, visible tail commonly associated with comets. When they get close to the sun, ISIS and the comet sublimate into gas, and streamers of gas can push the object along. However, this hydrogen iceberg theory is controversial and has sparked much debate among the scientific community. There are significant challenges and questions regarding the survival of such an object. The journey through space is fraught with radiation and other forms of cosmic violence, which could potentially tear a fragile, frozen hydrogen object apart before it ever reaches our solar system. Scientists argue back and forth over the viability of this hypothesis, weighing the likelihood of a hydrogen iceberg surviving the brutal conditions of interstellar travel. Nowadays, some scientists have started to think of Oumuamua as a sneaky comet, different from the ones we usually see. They propose that it might be releasing a very small amount of gas or dust, 
so small that our space telescopes can't catch it. This tiny, almost invisible puffing could be why Oumuamua is picking up speed as it leaves our solar system. If this is true, then Oumuamua would represent a new type of comet that doesn't fit our usual image. Big, bright, with a long tail. This would make Oumuamua a kind of undercover comet, blending in without the typical features that let us recognize comets from afar. Some astronomers believe Oumuamua might be the first example of an entirely new category of space wanderers, types of objects formed by unusual cosmic events in different star systems far away from ours. If this is true, it could mean that many more of these odd space nomads are drifting around, just waiting for us to discover them. Finding more objects like Oumuamua would be like opening a treasure chest of information, helping us understand what's happening in distant parts of our galaxy beyond our solar neighborhood. Do you think our world is truly a treasure chest of undiscovered objects, with the Oumuamua being one of the many treasures we would soon be exposed to? You don't want to miss all the thrilling Oumuamua tale left in the remaining part of this video. As swiftly as it had appeared in 2017, Oumuamua was lost again from our observational grasp, leaving a trail of enigmas. Its first sighting within our solar system raised deep discussions in the scientific world that birthed more riddles than revelations. Whether it is a naturally formed cosmic voyager or an emissary from a far-off civilization, its true nature remains mysterious. This interstellar interloper is a rocky, cigar-shaped object with a reddish hue. The object was named Oumuamua by its discoverers. It means a messenger from afar arrives first in Hawaii. Oumuamua is up to a one-quarter mile, 400 meters long, and highly elongated, ten times as long as it is wide. That aspect ratio is greater than any asteroid or comet observed in our solar system. While its elongated shape is quite surprising, and unlike objects seen in our solar system, it may provide new clues into how other solar systems formed. The observations suggest this unusual object had been wandering through the Milky Way, unattached to any star system, for hundreds of millions of years before its chance encounter with our star system. Writing in a news release, researchers say that Oumuamua's parent body or bodies may have had a close encounter with a host star. Immediately after its discovery, Telescopes worldwide, including ESO's Very Large Telescope in Chile, were called into action to measure the object's orbit, brightness, and color. The urgency of viewing from ground-based telescopes was vital to getting the best data. Combining the images from the focal reducer and low dispersion spectrograph on the ESO telescope using four different filters with those of other large telescopes, a team of astronomers led by Karen Meech of the Institute for Astronomy in Hawaii found that Oumuamua varies in brightness by a factor of 10 as it spins on its axis every 7.3 hours. No known asteroid or comet from our solar system varies so widely in brightness, with such a large ratio between length and width. The most elongated objects we have seen to date are no more than three times longer than they are wide. Before we go into the latest discoveries about Oumuamua, we need to understand how we made this discovery in the first place. Having peered into space to make this discovery, is the James Webb Telescope a handy tool for space exploration? In what ways does its use suffice? For a universe as vast as ours, we begin to realize as we research that we've merely scratched the surface of this infinite realm we are born into. Imagine a lens that can penetrate through the veils of time and space allowing us to see worlds beyond the reach of our terrestrial eyes. That lens is the James Webb Telescope. The James Webb Telescope has been described as the premier observatory of the next decade, serving thousands of astronomers worldwide. It studies every phase in the history of our universe, ranging from the first luminous glows after the Big Bang to the formation of solar systems capable of supporting life on planets like Earth to the evolution of our own solar system. Fitted with astute engineering details, this device was crafted meticulously to defy the limits of what the normal human eye can see. Built to decipher the mysteries that have eluded scientists for generations, one of its crowning features is the ability to detect faint heat signatures from celestial bodies as they peer into space. This feature promises to redefine our understanding of planetary atmospheres, including those of exoplanets. 
The James Webb Telescope is on a profound mission to track and study the wonders around our solar system in a depth and detail that was once thought impossible. It promises to clarify questions that have haunted humanity since we first looked at the night sky. Questions like where we come from and whether we are alone in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is our watchman looking after celestial bodies, changes and reactions, and sending back data that could unlock humanity's evolution to marvelous worlds and possibilities. Supernovas, black holes, and enigmatic dark matter are just some of the phenomena that this telescope has been able to view and give reports of since its introduction in astronomy. The telescope's infrared prowess has unlocked a myriad of previously invisible regions of star-forming nebula, revealing a vibrant nursery of stars, some challenging our existing knowledge of stellar formation. These newly discovered protostars, birthed in conditions vastly different from those theorized, urge scientists to reevaluate our foundational concepts. The James Webb Space Telescope has also identified the faint signatures of exoplanets residing in the habitable zones of their parent stars, a leap in our quest for potential life outside our solar system. Some of these exoplanets exhibit atmospheric compositions suggestive of potential biological processes, a hint that life as we understand it or even as we don't might be more prevalent than previously assumed. In peering into the ancient universe, the telescope has captured light from galaxies so distant and thus so young that they existed a mere few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These images create hazy windows into the universe's infancy, highlighting primordial galaxies' formation and evolution. By understanding these ancient cosmic entities, we're decoding galaxies' origin stories like our own Milky Way. This is so much possibility embedded in just one device, right? There is more to know about the James Webb Telescope. Let's continue with the stunning revelations. That the James Webb Space Telescope discoveries are groundbreaking is an understatement. They are earth-shattering, paradigm-shifting revelations, each beckoning us with a sense of urgency as we stand on the precipice of a new era in space exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope isn't just a telescope, it's a beacon guiding us through the cosmic dark and revealing the universe's enigmas. It is a call to humanity urging us to look beyond our world, to push the boundaries of our understanding, and to embrace the boundless wonders that await. With the James Webb Telescope, we're not just observers. We are active participants in a cosmic odyssey that promises to reshape our understanding of existence. 100 times more powerful than Hubble, Webb is designed to look deeper into space to see the earliest stars and galaxies that formed in the universe, and to look deep into nearby dust clouds to study the formation of stars and planets. In its powerful rumination of our solar system, the James Webb Telescope just announced that Oumuamua is back, and something weird is happening. Like, he doesn't want it to be disproven, because he's getting a lot of attention off of this idea that this is this interstellar object is something from an alien civilization. Let's find out what this announcement means to the world. Contrary to its initial fleeting visit, Oumuamua now courses through our solar system in a provocative arc, having its trajectory and challenging the conventions of astrophysics. Currently located a stone's throw from Mars, the world watches with bated breath as scientists scramble to answer what this resurfacing entails. Its behavior becomes even more troubling given that it is spinning and turning in all directions, making scientists believe that Oumuamua has been through many troubles since its first appearance. What's more scary is that the sun's gravity isn't suppressing its mobility, as it is quickly gaining speed farther and farther away from the sun. There seems to be an unknown force giving it an extra push, the resurfaced Oumuamua is deep red, similar to objects far beyond Neptune. This color is often seen when there are organic molecules on the surface. While this doesn't mean that Oumuamua carries life, it suggests it has elements capable of giving life. As it moves through the dark, cold space between the stars, it faces a relentless attack from cosmic rays. They bombard Oumuamua, changing its makeup and causing its surface to darken and turn reddish. This transformation is a significant clue for researchers. It suggests that Oumuamua has been wandering the galaxy for a long time, facing the harshness of space and getting marked by these cosmic encounters. 
This evidence from its long journey adds to the mystery and excitement of studying such a unique space object. To understand how cosmic rays have affected Oumuamua, we must dive deeper into the mystery of cosmic rays and their effects. Given Oumuamua's interaction with eons of cosmic rays, does it not pose a threat to existence and all life on its way? Cosmic rays are not those beams of light you see zapping through an asteroid in sci-fi movies. They are also not just beams of energy zapping through space. Instead, cosmic rays are powerful forces in space that can fundamentally alter the nature of space objects. A brilliant feature of cosmic rays is their ability to create complex organic molecules. Think of these not as living creatures, but more like the very first steps on the ladder of life, the basic components needed to start the engine of life. Do you realize how much this revelation is helping you see better? You now understand that Oumuamua might be more than a mere wandering stone in the vastness of space. It might be a carrier, a vessel, of the very elements that can lead to the creation of life as we understand it. The number of years it must have spent traveling through the voids of space, under intense exposure to all manners of cosmic phenomena, could have turned its surface into a complex canvas painted with a wide variety of chemicals and compounds. The environment of interstellar space, the grand stage on which Oumuamua has been silently drifting, is brutally unforgiving. Yet this brutal world acts as an unlikely preserver of celestial objects. Space's deep, cold and vast emptiness serves as a perfect preservation chamber. There are no blazing suns nearby to scorch their surfaces, no atmospheres to erode them away with wind and weather. In this light, in this light, Oumuamua can be seen as a piece of cosmic debris and a relic from the distant past, a bearer of untold stories from billions of years ago. Its odyssey through the dark, almost void-like stretches between stars has possibly maintained its surface in a state very similar to when it was first hurled into the depths of space, making it a precious time capsule from the cosmos. Adding to this cosmic tale is that Oumuamua's journey has been far from solitary. So what should you, the eager observer and science enthusiast, expect in the coming months? First and foremost, prepare for supercharged media, because every minor discovery or hypothesis related to Oumuamua will be under serious scrutiny and broadcast across every new media. Websites, journals, and news channels will be bustling with updates, each more thrilling than the last. In the coming months, speculations will range from the corridors of science through the wildly imaginative perimeters of a creative mind, keeping viewers on the edge of their seats. But beyond the media saturation, expect significant breakthroughs in knowledge about the new Oumuamua sighting as more telescopes are being built and more missions are being launched. Because Oumuamua is the first interstellar object ever observed in our solar system, observations point to the possibility that other star systems regularly eject small comet-like objects, and there should be more of them drifting among the stars. Future ground and space-based surveys could detect more of these interstellar vagabonds, providing a larger sample for scientists to analyze. Karen Meech, an astronomer at the University of Hawaii's Institute of Astronomy, is already eager for the next interstellar object. Will the Oumuamua change how we exist in this galaxy? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching this video, like and follow us.